where you drop in Spellbreak decides the loot you'll start the match with and can be the difference between an easy win or losing to better geared players. The map is large, but I found a few places that are way better than others for you to start at where you can start the match with great gear. In this video, I'm going to show you my top three places to drop in Spellbreak where I get free, easy, epic loot. Hi guys, I'm Legionless and this channel is about helping you enjoy your games more. Subscribe to the channel if you want to enjoy your games more and like this video to help me out. There's three spots that I love dropping at. There's plenty of loot and most of the time there's no one else around so I literally get a ton of epic gear for free. By the time I get to the final circle I'm often stacked from top to bottom with the best gear you can get. In this video I want to show my favorite three spots to land in Spellbreak. You'll want to stick around to the end where I have a bonus place you can drop at. It's not one of my top three favorite places to land but it's still an option if you don't want to go to one of my three. Looting is really important in Spellbreak, since higher rarity gauntlets affect how much damage you do and how much mana each spell costs. If you watched my last video where I go over each class, you'll know how important this is. Looting also gets you better equipment that affects how fast you run, your total mana pool, and how much armor you have. Being geared with epics and legendaries as soon as possible is an incredibly easy way to win some of your early fights and be ready for the final circle. And with these spots, you'll get this gear early and easily. The first place I love to drop at for a bunch of free loot is the bottom right of the map near Castle Bogmore. There's two epic chests that spawn right next to each other with plenty of small medium and large chests as well. There's also four epic chests scattered around really close by. This is a really good place to drop, especially when there isn't a portal close by the bottom right of the map. Castle Bogmore is really popular if there's portals nearby it, so unless you're looking to have some early fights, you'll want to go for one of the next two drop spots so you can avoid a bunch of early game fights. If you like taking early fights, you'll want to drop in the middle of the courtyard in Castle Bogmore to grab the two epic chests next to each other and any loot you can grab close by so you can win those fights and move on to grab all the loot in the lower right corner of the map. My second favorite place to drop is an area of the map that doesn't usually get a lot of players. If you passed on dropping at Castle Bogmore because too many players were dropping there, this spot is perfect for you because it's close enough to the castle that you can fall here instead when you see a bunch of players dropping near you, but also far enough away from you that you don't have to worry about fighting them until you've geared up. Ruby Grove has two epic chests in the middle of it with three more epic chests nearby and a good amount of small, medium, and large chests for you to grab too. One of the extra epic chests can be found in the middle of Sawtooth Mountain and the other two are around the outskirts of Evangard Summit. Ruby Grove is a great place to land because it's near Fort Halcyon, which is usually where the first circle spawns so you're always going to be near enough to the action that you won't have to worry about the spell storm, but just far enough from the action that you don't have to take any early fights if you want to gear up before you engage those fights. Ruby Grove is also positioned really well so you can move north or south to get more epic chests if you have the time and there might even be a mana chest nearby you can pick up. If the mana chest is uncontested you've just earned some free legendary gear but even if players are nearby you should be really well geared up so you can win the fight or two to get the chest. My absolute favorite place to drop in Spellbreak has so many free chests and it's almost always completely empty to the point that I have free range to grab 6 to 10 epic chests all to myself. That's right, 6 to 10 epic chests completely free. If there's no portals directly over Hope's End, but sort of nearby, you've guaranteed yourself all of the epic chests in Hope's End, Zealot's Keep, and Timurend. And you may even be able to grab the chests in Westmar and Edgewall Gate if the Spellstorm isn't going to be too much of a problem for you. The best part about the four epic chests you can grab in Hope's End is that they're grouped up together in pairs very close together, so you can grab two really quickly, grab some regular loot, and then grab two more epic chests and some loot then depending on where the first circle is and how much time you have until you need to move inside it you can move to the southeast and grab three more chests or you can move north while making your way to the circle 
The bonus place you can land isn't one of my three favorite places, since there's not a ton of loot, but it's close, and it's almost always completely free of players. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, this section of the map hardly ever gets used, almost never does the circle ever come this way, and I don't think I've ever actually had a final circle happen near Fever Ridge. At Fever Ridge, the top right of the map, you'll get a free epic chest and a second one you can grab just a little bit south near North March Pass. They're both close enough together that you should be able to grab them both easily and you can even head more south of North March Pass to a third epic chest. This is a pretty big area for you to loot in that I very rarely see people ever go to. The one downside to this is that you may need to move really quickly to get into the circle if it's not nearby. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your teammates so they know where you guys should drop for some free epic loot. Click or tap your screen to watch my class guide on all six classes in Spellbreak so you know exactly how to play your class and how to play against any class you'll run into. Like this video to help me out and thanks for watching.